in their transformation journey because these were both these companies while ford and best buy are iconic right. we both know they were going through their own struggles and in both situations what their ceos did was really game changing so tell us about what you think was truly leading that transformation or led to that transformation well um they weren't just going through their own struggles they were going bankrupt <laughs> yes i mean let's face it yeah the general consensus was Ford Motor Company finished. Yeah. Best Buy finished. Finished. General consensus is they were going bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And they were close. Both of them were very close to bankruptcy. So when Allen goes into Ford, the stock, the company was losing in one year $17 billion for the year. They lost $17 wow. billion. So Allen has a meeting with the top 16 people. And he said, okay, we're all going to look at our top five priorities, red, mm -hmm. yellow, green. Mm -hmm. Green is on plan. Mm -hmm. Yellow, I'm not on plan, yet I have a strategy to get there. And red is, I'm not on plan, and I don't have a strategy. Right. So the first meeting, red, yellow, green. 16 leaders, five priorities, 80 green. Everything is green. Everything is green. It's all green. And they're all well, the company is going bankrupt. They're losing $17 billion. So Alan says, well, this is puzzling. We're all on plan, yet we're losing seventeen billion with the P dollars. Now he said, "This must be a bad plan. Let's try again." Finally, somebody says red. Alan stands up and applauds, and says, "Thank you for having the courage to say red. Thank you. Um, you're not on plan, and you don't know how to get there. It's okay. Let's find somebody that can help you." Yeah. And yeah. by the way, he didn't say he had all the answers. Yeah. He never worked in a car company in his life. Sure. He didn't have all the answers. He said, let's find somebody. Find so I know this guy. I know this guy. Ten minutes, the problem got solved. Once they got over that egotistical nonsense of pretending to be perfect, everything started getting better. Well, that is the way you turn around the culture. Also, Alan and Uber both very big on values. Mm. So Alan basically said, here's the way we're going to treat people. Option A, uh -huh. treat people this way, or option B, work somewhere else. Well, one of the rules is you don't make bad comments about other people. So one mm -hmm. guy said, this is childish, nonsense, Boy Scouts. You know, if I want to say things, I will. <laughs> so what did, what did Alan say? Well, thank you for sharing. And I'm sure you're going to have a good career somewhere. Not here. Goodbye. <laughs> there was no HR committee. No yeah. there was vote. Boom. Out. Yeah. Another guy challenged him. Thank you. Out. That yeah. was it. 14 wow. of the 16 people that led the company to bankruptcy stayed and turned the company around. Same people. Same people. What changed? Him. Him. They, he wasn't there. He wasn't and, there. Like, people say it takes a long time to change a corporate culture. Didn't take him a long time. No. You know, we say we don't have a long time. No, this True. Culture, this culture is going to change now. Yep. And boom, that was it. And, you know, just an amazing track record. But it didn't occur overnight. Every week they had those meetings. Every week, the BPR process. Every week, red, yellow, green. Every week, something you mentioned, accountability. Accountability. Is huge. Every week you're accountable. you got to stand up and say that here it is. Every week, week after week after week. It's like having a personal trainer almost. Yeah, it works. <laughs> it works. It's the operational rigor sounds like that he brought in and he gave everybody the courage to stand up and speak about the true status rather than painting the picture red every uh, green everywhere. They, they became honest. They, they saw that there was freedom to speak their mind. There was freedom to be wrong and then be allowed to make mistakes, perhaps. And then the operational rigor obviously helped. And that, that's that's not easy in a, in a company which is uh, which has that kind of a history and that too in manufacturing with those kind of supply chain uh, legacy issues. It's, it's definitely not easy to pull all those parts together. So I really commend what Alan did and, and I appreciate the perspective that you shared on, on their journey.